And what's going on? It's your boy Fontaine, VIP SoundLab.com, and we're back on another tutorial video. This time, just some quick automation tips. We were getting some questions on that from some VIP members. So this isn't going to run too long because this is relatively very easy. Here are some macros that are set up from your rather RVST plugin. And this right here is our beast mode black. And we're currently working on a new one. If you've seen our last tutorial video on the beast mode plugin, uh, you pretty much are aware of it. If not, you guys might want to you know, take a look at that on the site. But anyway, we're going to give you a sneak peek at the new black stealth version. All right, so here are some some macros. If you know about machine, it automatically maps out the pages, you know, to your plugins and your VSTs and your AU plugins and things of that nature. All right, so so for example, we have these little learn icons up under here. If you select this little learn icon, it says learning. You know, if you wanted to set up your own, you know, specific knobs and controls to your MIDI keyboard and learn them, you can do it that way. But you notice that right here, for example, when I'm turning this knob to the left, I like to use a term. I call this what's called a negative effect. Okay, anything to the left is a negative effect. Anything moving to the right is what's called a positive effect. Okay. Let's say, for example, I'm leaving these defaulted, you know, down the center. Okay, if it was like this and you want to bring it back to the center, you can double click on that icon, which brings it back to its default. Why is that important? I'll, I'll show you why that's important in a minute. So let's say, for example, you notice whenever I move the software mouse like this, you see how that, that automation ring appears? that ring is for automation so these knobs they're they're two completely separate knobs they work independently of each other and i'll show you what i mean by that for example if i was on my hardware controller and i say i was moving this knob like this you notice how you know again it's already mapped out you know it moves pretty quick so if you need more control you can hold down the shift key on your hardware controller you notice how when i turn the knob it moves a lot slower Okay, that gives you like a lot more control. And then when I let it go, you see it moves a lot quicker. So I'm gonna bring that back to the default state. So let's say if I wanted to automate, you know, some of these, these parameters. So I go to this little outer ring, I click that, you see how it enters into this little automation mode. Okay, so let's say if I want to do the EQ, the high, the low, the mid, then let's say on another page, I want to do something different, maybe like the master gain. Okay, for example, I can go back to page one. All right, so let's say I wanted to record the high, the low gain, and the mid gain. And I'll just press play here, record. I'll take this, this metronome off so it doesn't annoy anybody. All right, and I'm gonna go to this little outer ring here. And as you can see, when the playhead plays through what we were automating, you see that the knob immediately begins to move. It's going from a negative effect to a positive effect. Now you remember in the beginning of the video, I said that these knobs work independently of each other. Now, when I said I want to double click it and basically have it default it down the center, let's say if I want to give that a more of a positive effect and less of a negative effect, I can take this knob and move it a little towards more of a positive effect. As you can see right here, it doesn't go as far to a negative effect. If I bring it up a little bit more, again, it kind of stops kind of halfway. If I move it more towards a negative effect this way, you see it's giving me more of a negative effect if I bring it all the way to the left, which is gonna give me less of a positive effect. So this is something that it's gonna be preference, it's gonna be up to you, whatever you wanna do is up to you. I like to leave mine defaulted down the center. So then that way I'm getting you know more of a true uh, representation of what I'm automating down here in the automation lane down here. This is what's called your automation lane. And when you go over any one of, you know, these little icons here, whatever you automated, you can exit out right here. And depending on how many, you know, sounds, whatever you have down there or parameters, I should say, you know, you can move this knob up and down. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do the low one like this here. You know, again, I'm just doing something like really crazy, really quick. And I'll do the mid one like this here. And we had another one over here, which was the, uh, the master gain. Okay. And when it comes to your volume, I tend to leave mine, you know, more towards, I guess you can say, you know, more defaulted because again, they work independently of each other. You know, I'm just putting something really crazy in here, whatever.
as you see right here, this is more of a negative effect. And that right there is more towards a positive effect. So yeah, man, that's pretty much how that works in a nutshell. If you have any questions or concerns, just hit me up, but let me go ahead and show you how that works. So as you can see, it's automating the plugin itself by what we are uh, doing down below. So if you've seen our last beast mode plugin, it's more of a gritty, grimy, industrial, you know, rustic feel to it. This one's more like the James Bond laid back, black, stealthy, you know, the more luxurious producer who likes to, you know, pimp out his toys. That's what this skin is for, you know, and we're going to put this one on the website soon. We'll probably be releasing this one, I'll say, in the next week or so, because, again, we're still working on it, you know, but so far I'm loving this one. It's, it's real, it's real, real dope, man. It's like real laid back, pimped out. You know, this is like the stealth bomber of the uh, Beast Mode plugin. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's how you can automate your parameters. It's your boy, Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.